like you said. So you two you come on Facebook to end your marriage, something like that. Trying to make it look at like you know, I I really wanted to hear this person's perspective because me, I'm not used to you guys. Um, you know, just I try to understand why somebody will say things, some things. So apparently, I asked him, "Why do you think my my marriage will end because I come on Facebook?" And he's like, "Well, go and ask your sister's husband. That social media is the one that destroyed your marriage. You two, you have come to Facebook to destroy your own marriage. You will not leave Facebook now. You have come to." I'm like, "Whoa, okay." So I asked him, um, do you realize that Facebook is actually people's full-time? Like, they don't have any other job. That's their full-time job. Or because you see it as a social media platform, we just believe that content creators are jobless and they have nothing to do. And so that is why I said, okay, we have to talk about this because it looks like that energy is what, you know, people believe. That's what they bring to your page and... They need to be educated. If this is now in a very um, neutral ground, we're not saying, oh, haters. No, no. Because really, they might not be haters. They might just not understand that content creation is a job. It's a full-time job. It's a job that requires your attention, just like a regular nine-to-five. Sometimes you cannot have your children at your job. You know, at your job. You spend eight to nine hours at your nine-to-five. You know, regular people. And the moment a woman picks up the phone and says, okay, I want to create content, is, is look at it, oh my God, you don't have time for your family anymore. You don't have time for your children. Oh my God, all you care about now is social media. You are a narcissist. You have no, it's like, that's what I need us to talk about because it looks like people don't realize that it's a job that requires attention, that requires a lot of, uh, why is someone calling me? <laughs> that requires a lot of attention because it also brings money. So I want, I want you to give me, uh, if it's possible, I know you don't like spilling anything about your personal life, but I want you to tell me how you started and when it became a problem. Was it before you started making money? Um, was the support there before you started earning? Um, was it looked at the same way before you started earning and after you started earning? So that's what I really want to know because... Man, we need to talk about this thing. This. You've it's always been an intellectual. You've always been the smartest one of all of us. You've always been the brainiac oh, of the family. And thank you for bringing this topic up. Oh, um, huh. A lot of people complain about women not being, you know, proactive in family life. They don't, they don't, um, they don't contribute 50-50 to financing the family's needs. And they also complain that women go out to look for work so if you take up a job you're a bad mom if you decide okay let me pick up content creating and create content at home you're looked at as self from home narcissist who loves herself who da, 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 da. and content creation like any other job requires is years you have to put in years it takes practice it takes a lot of dedication but it's the only job that will allow you to have your kids there while you do it. You're working from home. If you make your first few dollars and you beautify your home a little bit, you keep climbing the ladder of better and better content. You become your own boss. It gives you the, the peace of mind of not having to wake up to a screaming boss, of not having to run out of the house early in the morning to go to some job that you might hate. And for me, the beginning of content creation was not even for money. It was for putting my music out there. Social media was a... What do you want to could get you money? I mean, of course, I remember... I'm sorry, I just had to turn on the phone because I said it's like a good... You know why in Nigeria? <laughs> I hope you can still hear me. Can you still hear me? Remember there was a time you, um, you were feeling bad that you were not contributing you know, in a very big way. And I was telling you that, you know, it was the same for me too. At, the, at some point in my life, I was not contributing. And I remember you were feeling so bad because you were getting heat. For, for, you were getting a lot of heat for not contributing. So, if the only way to actually contribute and be at peace with yourself is content creation, why are women still being bashed for the same thing? Because I really need women to understand. Because most of the, yeah, men bash too because they really don't understand. Most, most times when they understand, they're like, whoa, wow. Okay, so this is a good opportunity. Except the person had 
uh, let's say, an agenda from the get-go to be controlling because I think everything boils down to control. I'm married to a correct Niger Igbo guy. And you would think that, oh, control is going to be from this side of Africa because, you know, of the Pachaki and, the, you know, in Africa. But now that I'm starting to analyze this, like going back to the beginning, I'm thinking that this was all a control game from the beginning. And the moment there were uh, issues with controlling, that's where the problem started. That's where social media became a problem. So you see what I'm saying? I'm saying, why is it that? Women are expected to earn. And then the moment they start to earn, it's a problem. You know, I just... I, 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 I actually believe it, that this has been a problem from time immemorial. It's not just with any race, forget race. It's just financial independence for a woman and how it is a threat to some men's masculinity and their, and their ability to provide for their children. And... If a woman begins to do that, if a woman begins to, you know, begins to be financially free, not having to ask her husband for anything, it could play on some of their insecurities, thereby leading some, to some, you know, abusive stuff, which can in turn contribute to, you want to see your auntie? Yes. <laughs> Hello, baby. <laughs> Judy, Judy, say hi. I'm coming to see you very soon. Do you know that? You look very say hi to Chechen. <laughs> your cousins. Oh, my, my boo boo. Say hi, Chechen. Say hi. 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 <laughs> look, look at your cousins. She's not even looking at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's so beautiful. Look at boo boo and, 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 um, what's boo boo and, um, Okay. My daughter looks. You don't know your nephews. They, okay. they look the exact same way. <laughs> Bubu and my daughter. They look. They look alike. <laughs> hey, Jesus. <laughs> you don't know how that a house. Donut house. Yeah, that's that's Auntie Nancy's house. And then the bushes. Yeah. The donut house. You just made my friend. Ah. You should just call me. No, again. she said, <laughs> she said it say master. So I don't know what that is. Okay, you're going to have a lot of fun in the playground. I'm going to take you there, okay? Okay. Yeah. Go, go meet Auntie Amy. She's going to give you some, some of the cookies that I gave you. <laughs> you have a lot of interesting comments in your, in your comment section. A lot of women are saying, well, it's true. Um, do you know I know a woman? who, when I started YouTube, Chacha calm down. She was in my culinary school and she knew how to cook really well. And she had the, the dream of becoming a YouTube content creator. She saw people, you know, doing that full time and she really wanted to do that. And then she, you know, she started off on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. Facebook picked up really fast. And then she made her husband her admin. And this is a true life story now. True life story. In 2020, she already had like 50k on Facebook. And then that's when all of a sudden... And that's when all of a sudden, the guys are saying, uh-uh, you're not contributing to the house nowadays. Everything in your life is about social media. You know, he was a admin for a long time. And then she called me when we were still in culinary school to say that. Nancy, I've been logged out of my page. Nancy, I can no longer access my Facebook. And yeah. I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, I can't access my Facebook anymore. My husband has logged me out. Like, he has logged me out and I don't know what to do. And I was like, oh, I was still on YouTube. I've never, I've never come to Facebook. I, I didn't even know that Facebook was, you know, could be monetized. And I was like, why? He's, she's like, oh. Now he started saying that she was um, not uh, taking care of the, the, the child. Her child, she had just one child. And she was pregnant and she said that even a pregnant man can't even rest they're coming on facebook what are you coming to do that she come and start cooking online and then delaying his food but not cooking enough for them so it had taken over their life they had to change it no 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 please so she had to leave and then she they kept having fights and then one day she just woke up came back from Antinata and she was blocked out and she was like nancy nancy Edra, what is going on so 
Yes, that's that's so all. I'm gonna what I'm, I'm gonna I'm divorce your up. personal details because you're my blood sister, right? And we're talking in public. It's mm -hmm. a public forum. Um, up until up until the beginning of the beginning of this year, I had Justin as an ID in my Facebook, and there had been constant every day, like problems with my time on social media and all of that up until when it started to pay once the money started to come it now became go 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 my student loans go 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 my student loans right and so that is what constantly was my day wake up do it because it has started to pay right well, before I started to pay, I was being called all sorts of names. There was, there was heat. I was called a leech, a parasite. There was, there was nothing that I was not called when I was not monetizable, you know? And these are these things that I do not want to talk about. But you're my blood sister. I will speak. You know, these are the things that we have to talk about based on the fact that when the money starts to come, they want to claim ownership of it. Like you are their property, so your money is their property as well. And if there's no money, oh, but funny enough, this guy liked the fact that she was earning. But I don't know, they got into a fight, and then it was boom. Looks like you don't even know your place anymore. It's like, so let me just, you know, put you in your place, and then he locked her out. And I'm like, he started claiming that social media took over her life, and this is someone that spent at least 10 hours away from social media every day. When people say, oh, you live on social media, can't you go and rest? You do some rest. They're always on live. I'm like, how many hours do you come on live every day? It's one hour, max two times a day. So max two hours a day. These are people that have 95 jobs. So they spend, they spend at least eight hours at their place of work. So I'm like, okay, so if you see this thing as just fun, and somebody is coming live twice in a day, less than an hour, and you think that it's okay to drag the person because you feel like the person is now living online. Because that's what he said. He said she was living online. She said, Nancy, Joe, please, I cook one hour a day. I think one that it's hour. an amazing opportunity for the modern woman, to be honest, because content creation has now become... One hour a day. Time exactly. for your family. And they're like, oh, no, yeah. yeah. I'm saying, if you dedicate... You cannot grow your page if you don't dedicate it's time like to engage, farm. to do other things. You should get the same eight hours everybody else dedicates to their own separate job. So why is it that anytime someone picks up the phone, it's like, mm-hmm, narcissist, you're the one. You are living on your phone. You have no time for your family. I'm like, okay. And you know what, one thing I wanted to say? As a public health professional, when people talk and I see comments on, online, I'm like, hey, do you know the definition of a bad mom? Do you know the, do you know the most important indication for motherhood whether or not it's good or bad it's the child when you look at the child that the person is taking care of you should be able to tell whether or not that's a bad mom okay so someone said nancy they are playing too rough <laughs> Don't do that. They are playing too... <laughs> you should be ready you should be ready for those kind of comments man. Just... it's coming anyway it's coming <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, how can somebody say that someone that's been taking care of the child since she was born, the child has never been sick for one day? The child has never been admitted in a hospital. The child has never had a reason to be hospitalized. Come online and say that this person is a bad mom. I can't. Like, I can't understand it. In my mind, I'm like, I see patients. I practice clinically. I see patients. I have patients. I have a cause where I see parents that have 95s and their children are sick every month, basically having car, the flu, kata, malaria, TB. I'm talking serious conk illnesses. And these children are children of 95ers. Do you get? People are not looking at those people as, oh, you have such a bad mom. You don't have time for your children. You're always going to work every day. They want, they want to have time for themselves. They want more time. They wish they could work from home, but they can't. They can't afford to. So but why, why is it that the concentration of the entire world is on this woman that is on social media for two hours a day? Posting once or twice a day, but somehow she's living online. <laughs> because I'm, and I then can't, they spend I can't understand the time to watch me and then re-watch my video. They spend more time on my social media than I spend creating the content.